I wonder if products can actually be icky. We're going to find out with the icky products that I've picked up recently that I'm just not impressed with. Hello, my friends. I have a handful of products right here that I've been testing for a while that just don't make the cut. And a lot of this is drugstore, but there is a little bit of high end in here. I just really recently have become very in tune with exactly what I like and did a huge purge on all of my makeup. And as I buy stuff, I'm like, I, if I don't like it, it's not going to stick around. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those today. And we're going to get started immediately into this video. Starting off with the revamping of the Wet n Wild Color Icon Shadows. I am so disappointed in this. They, I don't know if they completely changed their formula, if they just tweaked it, what they did, but I cannot get the payoff like I used to out of the, the other ones that had the black packaging. And I'm so disappointed. Even like my very favorite was the little one that was the quad and it was called Petalette. And they've redone that. I don't think I have it right here, but I have tried to make all of these work. I have like all of them. I actually purchased almost all of them. They just fell so short and I'm so disappointed in these. Um, no pigment in the shimmers whatsoever. I mean, you can't put them on your finger and get a swipe across and find a good pigment on there. And it's really hard to build up the mattes. They're not as smooth and creamy as they were. And oh my gosh, I hope that they ditch this and go back to the old stuff because this is just so disappointing. The next thing is from Koki Cosmetics and this is their HD found Skin Perfect HD Foundation. Now they have another one that I love that is always in my top 10 at the drugstore and I will make sure that I um, throw it up on the screen for you guys. I can't remember what it is, but this one, it is so drying on my mature skin. So everything shows up, all my texture, all my lines, and it doesn't cover the way I want it to. It gets very patchy. It has a lot of breakthrough. Really disappointed in this one as well. If you're wondering why I hardly have any eye makeup on today, it's because there's a really great video that has preceded this video that is all about these lashes. So definitely go check that out. Right. Also from e.l.f., I adore the original putty primer. And if you are kind of an oily skin gal, you might really like the matte one that they came out with. But this luminous one, I am not a fan. I am just not a fan. And you can really see that I've really tried hard to make this work. But for one thing, it's like almost like a yellow cast and it really just it does definitely make you look luminous but it's not a nice luminous i mean there's so many products out there that have a subtle sheen to them that don't have a yellow cast this has a very yellow cast to it and it just it just doesn't seem to go with my skin tone and it doesn't seem to do anything other than just kind of make my makeup look a little bit like I'm oily. And that's not what Luminous is supposed to do. It's supposed to just give you a nice glow about you. So this one was kind of a disappointment for me as well. Two products I picked up from Physicians Formula, complete bust as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is their Mineral Wear Diamond Dust. This is brand new as well. This is I can't even tell what this is because I go and I put my finger in here and I'm rubbing and I'm rubbing and I'm rubbing and it hardly picks up anything. And it's got all these little glitter particles in it instead of just being shimmer, which as I'm feeling it, it kind of would feel to me like it would be just kind of shimmer, not shimmer, but you know, just pearl or whatever you want to call it on your skin. And it's just not, it's, there's hardly anything there. And what is there is super fine, um, glitter, which I don't like wearing glitter. I just like to have a little bit of a sheen. There's the word. So I'm really disappointed in that one. You can't hardly get any product up off of it either. And this mascara is their new Butter Blowout Mascara. Um, this just wouldn't build. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera or not, but that wand pulled out so much goop that it's just gross. And I can't just wipe it off and go in with it because by the time I'm done wiping it off, it's still gooped around there and it just didn't build on itself. It didn't make it my lashes long or anything else. So this one was another yucky one for me. And then I have three products from Flower Beauty and I was so disappointed in these. Okay, the first one, I may have talked about this like in a monthly favorites. I might have talked about these, but these are their new quads. I just, I'm not impressed with these. Same thing as the flower, uh, 
same thing as the wet and wild they're just not that great and these do have a little bit more pigment than those do I will give them that but they're very chalky and they're hard to blend and I just I wasn't impressed with them at all I just wish that these companies would stick with what they originally had I get that they have to continue to you know try and do better and you know get something new out otherwise people get bored and they just don't go back to their stuff but honestly you would think that with these big companies that they would find things with, that were a little bit better this one is her new color corrector and i was really excited about this but this is such a stiff product and it accentuated all of my lines underneath there it looks terrible on it doesn't i it's just chalky and it just it doesn't wear well it just looks really bad on my skin so this one i was really disappointed in for how how much more dry it made my under eyes which if you have those dark dark blue circles like i do you know that you cannot go in there with anything that is chalky otherwise it just looks so bad and that one was not good and then i was really sad about this one this is the flower get real little serum foundation too this is it's just more like a tinted moisturizer but every i mean i think i got three different colors and they are so yellow and i don't understand that about flower beauty because their other ones are yellow too and i have to go in and i have to color correct that as well but this gives no coverage it's just basically a tinted moisturizer it's not a foundation i wish that they hadn't called it that if they'd called it a tinted moisturizer that probably would have been better but you know and it doesn't look terrible on my hand right there as a matter of fact it looks kind of pretty while well. it's a little bit dewy but it really it gets very patchy and it just oxidized really fast it just was one that i would hard pass on also these little duos that are the blush duos from elf these are nothing like those eyeshadow quads that are so good the little bite-sized ones these are so chalky and stiff and hardly any pigment in here and I just I did not like these at all. I felt like I had to work and work and work with them The little highlighter part of it is just not good either. This, this was a total fail for me I just could not get on board with this and it was so many people's favorites last year uh, in their drugstore finds Just for me. It just did not work at all at all so yeah and then from pixie beauty pixie sends me so many care packages of such great products and i got sent this one too but this one is just this is a weird product and it is the the c plus brightening perfector so you're supposed to wear it like underneath makeup almost as a primer this is not a good primer <laughs> and it is definitely not a good moisturizer either look at the cast that it leaves on there and it does leave that white cast on there and then as you work it in if you really work it into where you don't want any of that in there it starts to leave a yellow cast almost on the skin and it's like okay i get that you're supposed to be brightening i get that yellow is brightening but i don't want that on my makeup and the other thing the way that it feels it just feels a little bit too heavy to go underneath makeup so i didn't really understand what the whole thing was as far as that one went so yeah that one was a hard pass for me as well and then the last thing i know i'm going to get some people that are really ticked off at me but these Pat McGrath lipsticks. Now, I'm not exactly sure which ones these are. I'll throw them up on the screen if I can't find it for you. Uh, this is the Matte Trance lipsticks. So, okay, so these are the ones that are supposed to be matte. And I love her packaging. Yeah, it's real pretty. But, but the texture of these is so weird. It's like slick. And so it, even though it's a matte product, it's not it doesn't stay because it it comes off so easily i don't even know how to describe it other than it's just it feels like slick vaseline that's just a really slippery formula and i like the colors pretty colors as a matter of fact i mix the two together to get a custom color it's gorgeous but i do not like this formula and it's the matte trance ones and i'm gonna try some others of hers but as far as these ones that cost you an arm and a leg now granted i only paid like 12 dollars for these because she was having a little clearance thing at the end of the year but still 12 dollars is 12 dollars and i don't like this formula at all because it just doesn't stick around so that is it for what i'm going to bag on today i'm done <laughs>
with what I wanted to show you. I probably could dig out a ton of stuff to show you, but we're just going to leave it at that today. I hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Was there anything that you are really just not happy about this year or that purchases that you've made? I have recently done a ton of drugstore. What's new at the drugstore? And I got a get ready with me coming for that with some really great products that you're going to love. So stay tuned for that. We'll get the bad out of the way and then we'll get the good. So I hope everybody's doing great. Please stay happy, stay healthy. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye friends.